What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing the Canon 700D. Just before we get into the unboxing, I want to say thank you to you guys, and the reason for this is because I wouldn't be able to buy this stuff without your support. Obviously, it's no secret I earn money off YouTube, and because of your support each video, I'm able to buy this. So thank you for supporting me, and let's get into the unboxing. Now, I bought the camera itself refurbished, and I'm going to be justifying why at the end of the video, along with why I bought this DSLR out of any other DSLR. As you can see, Canon 700D, it comes with that lens right here, 18 to 55 millimeter, and over here is some of the features. On the side here, it lists everything that should come with the camera itself. Here is the system requirements, so pause the video right there if you are thinking about getting the camera, there's the system requirements. So let's begin to get the camera out. So at the top we have a disc, now I'm not too sure what this disc is actually for. It doesn't actually say what it's for because it's all in different languages as you can see right here. But I'm assuming either it's a photo editor or this is the software that allows you to export your videos or photos taken on the camera. Here we have the warranty and we also have an instruction manual, pretty thick as you can see right there. And this package includes the following things right here as you can see. Now if we take this off I believe the camera and the lens and everything should be here. And let's get into it. So as you can see we have the Canon strap right here. Very thick and I think this will definitely do the job. It seems pretty uh, comfortable at the under here. Seems like got some nice padding. This next thing is the battery charger, as you can see. So if I just take this out, slide the battery in there and charge it. As you can see, charge full or charging. Next over here, we have the mains for the charger, I guess. Yep, there it is, right there. The next thing we have here is the lens, the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. I'll get this out at the end, but this is how it's packaged, very nice and secure. We have this here, I'm not 100% sure what this is actually for, but it has come with the packaging itself. Now of course the main thing here is the camera itself, again I'll get it out at the end, but this is what it looks like. Pretty bulky, uh, seems like a decent weight. And there's actually one more thing at the bottom of the box here, which is the USB transfer cable. So it's all packaged very nice and well, and let's get into actually taking it out of the wrapping. So we have the Canon here, and we have the 18 to 55 millimeter lens here. First of all, we're gonna take out the lens. This is what the lens looks like, as you can see. Very nice and small, very light as well. And if I do sound like a beginner, it's because I'm a beginner, it's my first DSLR. Now, as you'll see, the lens comes with autofocus and stabilizer. Simply turn it on or off like this. And now the camera itself. Here we go. This is the camera right here. The Canon 700D as you can see. Also known as a T5i. And as you can see this thing is a beast. Now I'm holding it like this at the moment. As if I was taking it for photography. And to be honest it's very light. I'm holding it with one hand. It's nice and comfortable. I've got a nice grip on it as you can see. A very nice secure grip on it. And this is the camera right here. As you can see underneath it has the tripod mount. On the side here you can put a mic in. As you can see an external mic right there. And I have ordered a mic and I'll get into what mic I've ordered at the end. Here is the AV out digital and a HDMI. So we can just take this out. As you'll see right there. And of course on the back got the menu info. Uh, I'm not too sure what everything is at the moment. I'm thinking this might be record. Um, this is a touch screen, as you can see an autofocus button right here, trash button, playback button, and again, I'm new to all this, I don't know what everything is at the moment, I haven't played around with it, I've literally just unboxed it. Here, I am assuming the zoom in and zoom out. Here is where the camera strap would go in. At the top here is where we take the photos, as you can see. Not too sure what this button is, we have an ISO button, and this feature I like right here, as you can see, if we want to record, we just got to slide it up like so. So it's very simple to use. And of course, this is also the on and off switch. So if we turn it to on, as you'll see, it'll turn on. Just like that. In addition, at the top, we have the microphone. 
and we also have an external microphone mount right here. I did forget to mention underneath here, you can see the battery compartment, and the battery is already in there, of course take it out, we're just going to slide this back. This is the battery, it's quite bulky. This is it right here. And of course the final feature, the main reason why I got this DSLR, it comes out and it also swivels. Just like that, and of course we can put it back like this to protect the screen if needed. So that's it for this video, yes it is a refurbished one, and now let's get into why I got a refurbished one. Number one, it's my first DSLR, so I want to test it out and I want to make sure I know how to use it and get used to the functionality. In addition to that, this refurbished camera came with a 12 month warranty. If there is no warranty involved, then I would not get it. So if anything does go wrong with the camera, at least I'm covered. Now I didn't buy this camera just because it's a Canon, I actually looked at so many different reviews, compared it to so many different cameras. Another camera I was thinking of getting was a Nikon D5200 I believe, or D5300. I was going to get that over this. I was also going to get the Canon 750D. And the main reason why I got this, reading so many reviews, everyone's saying it's best for video. In addition to that, over this, when it is auto-focusing on record, you don't hear it, whereas the Nikon, when you're auto-focusing, it comes out. And I've watched loads of video testing, and you can definitely hear it. Now I'm going to America on June 14th to July 19th. I'm taking this camera. We are going to some sightseeing places in San Francisco. So I'm going to take some pictures, take video, and we'll see what it's like. And when I get back, I will be doing a review on the camera. Now earlier I did pick up on saying I did order external mic for this Canon and for those wondering I ordered the Star SGC598. It's a cheaper mic, however I've watched so many videos on that as well comparing this microphone which is about $40 to a Rode microphone which is $250 and to be honest the Star it does lose in some way, however it still sounds very, very good. You can check that out yourself. A link to this camera will be in the description. A link to the mic I'm getting will also be in the description. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions you may have about the camera, you can ask me on Twitter or leave it in the comments below. Now, something else just come, and this is my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. And yes, an unboxing on that will also come very soon. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.